when you log in, it's going to take you to the My Voice page on your VoiceThread account. This is where your VoiceThreads are going to end up once you've created them. So let's get around to the creation process. I'm going to go over here and click Create. And this is where we're going to start. The first thing you need to do, need to do is upload. Uh, you have several options as far as upload. You could put a URL from a website. You could actually record a message or audio from your webcam to be one of your slides. Media sources means you could grab pictures from Facebook or Flickr. But we're going to go with the My Computer, which will bring them up from the hard drive or a flash drive. I'm going to select these three pa paintings I have here that I'm going to be commenting on, and I've, they're labeled 1, 2, 3. That's so that they come in in the order I want, so I don't have to reorganize them later. It'll take a few moments to process here. And you can add videos, you can add a lot more pictures, but we're just going to go with this for now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is give your presentation a title. I'm going to go with... And add a description so that if someone looks at this, they know what it's about. You want to add tags so that people can search through voice threads and yours will come up. So I'm not going to need tags right now, but you want to add them just so that people can find what you've made. So we'll click Save. Okay, now our presentation has a title. The next thing before we actually get on to commenting is we're going to want to add titles to these slides. And we'll see why here in a minute. I'm going to actually just copy and paste from a Word document. And I'm actually going to add a URL to this one. Okay, now I've added titles to all of my um, slides here. Now we're ready to comment. And I can just see, see if you can rearrange these in any order I want, but this is the order I want. And let's go to comment. So this is the VoiceThread interface. Um, you can see I get the um, information. I paste it in there so you know what the name of the painting is. And I can click these arrows here to go to the next one. And I've got the same thing. If I click a link, it'll actually take me to the National Gallery of Art um, about John Singleton Copley. We want to come back here. And we've got George Washington as well. And you can also navigate through this system by clicking here, and it'll show you all your slides. And so I go back to the beginning. That's why it's important to label your painting so that you get the information at the bottom there. All right, so a couple things. You can also just zoom in on your picture, and by moving your mouse around to the corners, you can explore the picture. Okay, click again, zoom back out. Now we're ready to comment. A couple of these I'm not going to go into very much, but you can telephone. If you put your telephone in, number in, it'll call you, and you can just answer the phone and record a comment. You can do video. You can do just audio. You can type, and you can also upload uh, an audio recording you've done elsewhere. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with the type tool. Um, you can type... Uh, message right here and you can also draw on the painting. Let's look at the draw tool first. Um, you can select a var variation of colors here and if I wanted to point out that the pillar is a European element in Copley's painting um, I could just signal it and after a few moments you're going to see that the drawing is going to start to fade. Now, it could be just, I want it to fade, and that's fine, but if I don't want it to fade, I can click the center here, and it will always stay up. And if I don't click it, it'll fade away. So, we have that there, and then I can just say... So, I click Save, and now I have my first comment. If I hit Play, we'll, we'll see that there. So, the next thing is, let's just look at recording. Um, It'll just start recording my audio, and I could start by explaining that Catherine Bass Yates has a mustache. And not because I just drew it, but because Gilbert Stuart actually put a mustache in there. Um, it's a characteristic of American artists to be 
very accurate and very close attention to detail. So if Catherine Bass Yates had a mustache, Gilbert Stewart was not going to remove it just to make her look better. He was going to leave it there because that's how she looked. Now, after I've recorded, it'll play it back to me so I could listen to it. I could save it. I can cancel it. Or I could add some more. I'm going to go ahead and save it. You can use the pen tool while you're recording audio. You do the same thing with video. Um, I'll be recording over here, and I can also switch between the paintings. So you can draw and you can cycle through the pictures as you paint and record. Now one feature over here, which I don't have access to because I don't have a pro account, is you could record your audio in a program like GarageBand or Audacity. I would recommend that just because VoiceThread doesn't allow you to edit your recordings. Either you get it right or you have to do it again. So doing your audio in another program would allow you to edit your audio and get it cleaner and get exactly what you want. So that's basically it as far as commenting. Just one thing I'd like to point out is far as editing. If I come back over here and I wanted to add something, say so record and say, we know that Epsargent is a rich man because he has a three-quarter painting. Meaning, in those days, if you were poor, you could only afford a headshot. If you had a little more money, then you could afford a little bit more. And if you were rich, then you could afford three quarters or a full body painting. That's how painters charged for their paintings in their day. So I can stop recording and say, and I'm going to save that. Now, let's say I want this other comment over here to come after the voice recording I just made. Well, if I try to drag it, it won't or, do anything. So one cool thing to note is if you hold down shift, you can change the order of your comments. That's a really handy thing to do. So now that I've finished, I'm actually going to go over to my voice. Before we get onto how you share this, you'll see that the thing I just created is right here. Now, if I want to go back and edit this, I can hit the menu button right here. I can hit edit. I can delete it. I can make a copy of it and modify the copy and leave that one the way it was. If I go back to edit, It'll take me to this window, I can hit comment, and it takes me back into where I was before, and I can keep on adding new things. That's what we can do from the menu button in the My Voice section. Now let's go to the end of the presentation, and here we have the sharing functions. The great thing about VoiceThread is its interactivity. You can send this to people, they can look at it, they can comment on it, they can um, draw on it. It's a great way to interact with other people using this tool. So you can invite friends, you can send an email, you can embed this on another web page, you can copy the link uh, and email it. Um, you could export it, but that um, costs money, at least for me it does. When you share it, it'll just give you a URL that you can send to someone else. Okay, so let's go back to my voice here. And in the options here, under share, there's this groups and organizations section. Now I can add contacts. I don't have a pro account, so I can't do the organizations and groups. But when you send this to people, you can allow them to just view, or you can say that they can't comment. So if you want people to just look at the presentation without commenting, um, you just click view. But if you want them to comment, check the comment box. Another thing um, is you can moderate comments so when comments come in you will have to approve them and this will show it on the uh, browse so people can look it up um, in the browsing section okay, close um, close and if when people do make comments you'll see a little bubble up above your um, voice thread that you'll need to go in and approve those comments that's pretty much it as far as VoiceThread. And like I said, you can come back and you can look at it again. If you just hit play, it'll go through it all. And say, we know that Epsargent is a rich man because he has a three... 
So that's it. That's pretty much it for VoiceThread. And thank you for watching.